Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Today in this video, we're going to see the introduction of uh, printer files. Yes, so the printer files are actually the spool files which will be used for the reporting purpose. So let's quickly see uh, how to create a printer file and how to build a, a simple report based on our student database. Okay, so assume uh, this is going to be our report layout. Okay, so we are going to have some date, time and some headings okay and then uh, the list of students from our database and finally we'll be printing out uh, the total number of students in a uh, specific uh, uh, field okay so i'm taking f6 and it's going to be uh, stud prtf the name whatever you want so here prtf so it's going to be a printer file okay and so this is a dds so as of now as usual i'm giving file and coming out okay yeah here it is so it take 19 to see the uh, layout so this is actually our uh, report layout so what we are going to say first of all we're going to say insert and then finally then a dr dr means a defined record so we're going to uh, define a record so each row will be defined as a record in a printer file so then i'm going to say vf vf means view of field so this will give me the field uh, inside the record and once we have that right so we can just start creating our own fields so as you as we saw in the uh, this thing right so the first one will be the date and then some headings and then time so what i'm going to say i'm going to say this is going to be a uh, date colon so the label you can give using single quotes this will be populating like this then we need to have a, um, a date variable here so for that i'm going to press uh, f11 so the F11 is to define a field. So I'm going to say this is actually the uh, current date. Okay. So you can see here there is a something called starting position plus two. That's because the um, the space between the earlier field is plus two. I'll explain you. And then I'm going to say uh, this is actually the date. So x six then page up so we don't need a length here because it's a date okay and then press down and that's it so this is going to be my date and uh, similarly we can have a label like uh, list of students okay and then we are going to have a time and for time okay here you can see right so this is a time this thing so here if you press f11 which says plus 3 which means that is a 3 space between these two if you take another space and press f11 it says plus 4 4 space between the fields ok so let me have in 2 space and this is going to be my current time and there is no length for this because this is going to be a 7 of type time ok done so we have completed this thing so here if you take a f4 you'll be able to see the list of fields for that particular record actually okay so we have a date then the variable current date then some text then the current time okay good so next thing is i'm going to define uh, another dr so another uh, record vf for view fields so we, uh, what we need is actually the another list of variables so here I'm going to show a few things, uh, which is like um, if you want to delete, okay, if you if you have uh, created a field, we want to delete it, right? So Shift F4 will help you delete it, and at the same time, if you want to move something, okay, you can press Shift F1, which will uh, select this thing, and then wherever you want to go, and you can press Shift F2, it's a copy, and uh, if you want to move it's uh, shift f3 which is moving the field and shift f4 is actually the deleting field okay good so let me quickly complete the layout and then uh, i'll explain you the, uh, let me complete the header portion first okay so i have just completed the header thing here we need to take care of one more thing which is uh, you can have a field achievers there any of uh, the line here and then take shift uh, shift shift f12 can see the below the options are already defined here so f18 is actually the record keyboard so f18 means shift f6 this will give you oh sorry shift f6 what happened here 
okay okay so shift f6 is actually the recallable keyword so here you can take uh, f9 which is work with keywords and there will be a list of keywords coming in so we'll go through one by one later and here you can take a note of f10 which is a rename record so if you tick f10 so the rcd001 can be renamed like header1 whatever the name you want so we will use this name in our program to write this record and similarly i'm going to say this is actually shift f6 and then f10 and header shader two. okay so this is the uh, no record format i will write it in your uh, rpg only okay fine so next thing is actually the actual uh, variables from the file so what i'm going to say i'm going to take f10 uh, which is for the database uh, thing i'm going to say from my library take uh, student pf and the rec take f4 take f4 you can go here and select the record format okay take f4 you can select all the fields you want enter 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 okay so you can see the list of uh, fields are appearing here with some uh, prefix number so how we can use this is simply uh, by typing uh, okay so before that i'm going to create one more uh, dr okay and vf so i'm going to use here one okay sorry one is department we need uh, student number which is four so four enter so this will populate the student number here and similarly the student name is 3 so let's put 3 here and then department is 1 so let's put 1 here and grade is 1 okay, okay. cool so this is record uh, let's rename this shift f6 i'm going to say f10 uh, detail okay so the detail is i a single record which is having uh you can take f4 uh, you can see these four variable names so you know these four variable names is uh, coming from the pf so we can just read the file so that these variables will be populated with the value then we can just write it okay and then finally what we need is uh another dr and vf okay and i'm going to say uh, total number of students okay and here we are going to define a new field so f11 and i'm going to say tot stud and this is going to be of length 3 i'm assuming and then this is going to be uh, zoned with zero decimal places okay good so that's it we have just completed the screen design uh, so let's quickly issue a file go out okay then if you give a file you should be able to see the dds of it so once you are familiar with this right you can directly write the dds instead of going and uh, you know writing in the 19 option uh, 19 options helps on the first time before like we are defining the like a ui kind of stuff but once we are done that the small minor changes can be done through the dds itself like if you want to move some portion you can just increase the values of the you no know, numbers and uh, if you want some extra space you can use space b number you can just increase the number here those stuff okay so let's quickly write the uh, uh rpg l and then test this one so student prt so i'm going to say f6 stud prt f r rpg l okay so as usual uh first of all i'm going to define my uh, student pf so this is going to be if uh, external file format xtk this okay and the next thing is actually the defining the printer file So here our file name is uh, studprtf and it's of type O, okay. And then it's external, externally described. And then uh, here we have to say it's a printer type, okay. And then we have one more flag called uh, uh, inof, I guess, ofl ind. You can give any indicator uh, you want. I am giving F10, okay. So this is actually the overflow indicator. So whenever the page getting overflowed, right, this indicator will be switched on so that we will be able to know that the page exceeds. So we can print the heading again so that it looks good. So that's it. So let's quickly go our preformat code. Okay. Okay. So first, uh, we are going to write the header one. 
and write the header to and then we're gonna say uh, set level mobile student pf then we're gonna read the student pf and do while not percentage eof of student pf we just until the end do we will do the read again inside and for each uh, read uh, we gonna uh, write uh, detail you see here uh, if you, you can see both are having the same variable name so we should be able to get the values inside the variables and this pretty much actually the general uh, coding here suppose when we are writing if we get uh, a overflow the overflow indicator will be on so i'm going to say i n 10 is equals to on which is actually if statement if this is on then my page got overflowed so i need to inside this end date i'm going to write the heading again okay i think that's good and also i should switch off the indicator again Okay, so we are writing the header and then uh, overflow we are writing the header again and uh, detail is printing the detail and finally after the end do we need to write the footer so write footer and then star i n l r Okay, let's quickly compile and test. First let me compile the printer file let's run and this is also done okay okay the issue is we have defined the footer okay but we didn't uh, change the record name in the file so let's quickly go to 19 and then here is still rcd 4 so shift f6 come 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 f10 and foot now this should be okay okay so i'm compiling the printer file again I'm compiling the okay good so if you call this good that's it good so it is printed let's see what job yeah so you can see this is actually printing it good okay and one more thing is this date is not populated okay good so we didn't actually initialize anything on it uh, for that uh, oh sorry so let me go and here before writing the heading what we need to do we need we know the variable name is cur date is equals to date I think this is good and cur time is equals to time and also we have one var variable called the total student that we should in, uh, print it right so for each read or when we come inside what I'm going to say I'm going to increment that uh, total student plus equals to one so that's it so when we are writing the footer automatically this will be uh, printed so let's see file i hope the variable name is correct let me quickly check that one also t o t s t u d okay good so compile it again call it again of job code and here okay good so we are seeing the date and time is populated and also on the bottom uh, total number of students is populated so that's good so that's it i want to cover for this video so i hope this would have given you some introduction about the basic printer fill concepts and there are really a lot of things to do on the printer fill as we have i have shown you on the uh, uh, options right shift f6 recordable format you can give your own uh, font and size and bold paginations those stuffs and uh, i will try to cover those things in future videos if time permits and until then uh, goodbye from yourself bye bye